Hello. Today I will explain how to charge the rocket joint into the system. Firstly, we need to close the liquid outlet valve or the condenser. This wire also called the cam valve and it is used for the pumping down of the rocket joints for the maintenance or charging of the system. Where the connection of the adapter to the bottle and family tightens. Before carrying out the job, we need to measure the weight of the bottle to know the quantity of the refrigerants inside the bottle. And then make the connection of the charging pipe to the adapter and firmly tighten at that point. Buff, we need to make the loose connection between the charging pipe and the liquid charging buff to push off the L for the charging pipe. For pushing the L from the charging pipe, small open the bottom buff. If the gut is cut off from the loose joint, we need to tighten the joint. In this system, we are using the refrigerant is R404A and the gas is an environmental friendly and ozone depleting potential is zero. For charging, we need to fully open the bottom bath and slightly and slowly open the liquid charging bath. Now start charging the liquid refrigerants to the system. Need to monitor the parameter of the high pressure, low pressure, ampere of the compressor, and temperature difference of the cooling water between the inlet and the all of the condenser. Check the level of the refrigerant from the cyclist. Make our recommended level is a full fit of the liquid level gauge. If the level is reached to the desired point, we need to stop charging. Close the bottom bath and close the liquid charging bath. And then disconnect the charging pipe from the liquid charging bath. Disconnect the charging pipe and the adapter from the bottle. After charging job is done, we need to remeasure the weight of the bottles to know how much quantity of the refrigerant is used for this specifying job. After then, slowly open the liquid outlet valve or the condenser to restart the system. Now charging job is done and then system is running in the normal condition. Check and tighten the cleanup of the liquid all above because sometimes the leakage of the refrigerant can occur from the joint. And then close the cup of the liquid all above. If this video is helpful to you, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.